All right, let's all watch this clip together so we can all be on the same page. Sleeper for you, Lamar Jackson. There are a lot of people around the league that I speak to that are talking a little slick. They say this might be the year that everybody figures out Lamar Jackson. Like there's sort of that feeling right now. He can definitely prove that wrong, but I think there's a bit of pressure on him right now. He doesn't R have a deal either. RC looks skeptical. Figure out what? Figure out why he went four three in UK? Like, I mean, there ain't nothing to figure out. We see what he's doing. We just can't catch him. <laughs> Why are we still on this? Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. You two team keep it clean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and grave it. So YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and in this video Jeremy you were foul for this one because Jeremy Fowler he was talking to Ryan Clark and Ryan Clark was going over his top five quarterbacks who he feels are under the most pressure this season um, and Lamar Jackson was not on this list uh, but Jeremy Fowler said that he's been hearing around the league and whatnot from his buddies that Lamar Jackson, this could be the year that teams figure him out. This could be the one. And this is something that we've been hearing ever since Lamar came into the league. <laughs> this is something that we've been hearing ever since Lamar came into the league, man. Let me take you back to 2018 when Joe Flacco got injured and insert Lamar Jackson. What does he do? Takes the league by storm, literally runs all over the, the opponents that they played, uh, did his thing, uh, and that was his, his rookie year. And did pretty much nothing but win. Obviously lost to the Chiefs and then lost in the playoffs to the Chargers, but he did a lot of winning. Uh, and then after that, people were like, oh, okay, nope. Lamar Jackson is going to get figured out. He may have caught the league by storm because they didn't have any tape on him. But guess what? Now they got tape. Now they got film. Game over for Lamar Jackson. It's going to be a sophomore slump, buddy. What happened after that? He followed that up and had not only an MVP, but a unanimous MVP season. So then after that, people are like, oh, man, Lamar, oh, we got all this film on Lamar. Game over. That's a wrap. Lamar, it's over for you, buddy. Going to figure you out. We're going to figure you out, and then you're going to be pretty upset, man. So then, after 2020, the 2019 season, 2020 came, and he still has a pretty good season. Now, the pandemic messed a lot of stuff up for a lot of people, but Lamar still had a pretty good season. So then after that, that brings us to where we are now, where we almost made, I, I, I don't think I had heard that, maybe I had, but probably ignored it, but we're almost to the regular season. We are so close. But Jeremy Fowler, I feel like Jeremy Fowler, he must have an album coming out or something. I know he is heavy into the fantasy football, so maybe he's like, you know what? I need people to join my fantasy football leagues. He, he just, I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, why he would even say this. And then, I'm I, I just trying to figure out why. Why is it that with Lamar Jackson, the league's going to figure him out? Why does that only pertain to him? Why is it not, when you think about some other young quarterbacks, why is it not like that with a Baker Mayfield? Why is it not like that with a Josh Allen? I don't even hear that for Tua. But for Lamar Jack, and we can go down a list of other quarterbacks too, but why is it that for Lamar it's like, okay, the league's going to figure him out? Well, like one quarterback that comes to mind right now too, What's going on with Matthew Stafford? What's going on with him? Has the league figured this guy out since wherever he goes, success does not follow? Has the league figured him out? Or are we not even worried about the league figuring him out? Because he hasn't been as special as Lamar Jackson. He hasn't been as impactful as a Lamar Jackson has. Because with, with, with Lamar, again, we talked about it, so many people they always focus on the negative. They always try to focus on, all right, how can we tear Lamar Jackson down? How can we speak negatively on his name and on his game? How can we try to talk about the downfall of a Lamar Jackson? 
See, when, when you bring up, oh, the league is going to figure out Lamar Jackson, why don't we hear more people saying on the flip side, mm, Lamar Jackson, he's going to figure out this league. Lamar Jackson, oh, just imagine when he figures out how to read defenses even better. Just imagine when Lamar Jackson takes his game to another, another level. Just imagine when Lamar Jackson continues to get better at pretty much everything. Why don't we hear more conversations like that amongst the talking heads? Well, <laughs> we don't even need to get into it. But with Lamar Jackson, that, that's what we always hear. And, and there's a saying, a very popular saying that I'm sure all of y'all have heard before. Game recognizes game. Game recognizes game. I know y'all done heard it plenty of times before. And in this case, when you hear people always talking about the downfall of Lamar Jackson, what he can't do, why he's going to fail this upcoming season, why his numbers are going to regress this upcoming season, why he's not going to do good this upcoming season. Whenever you hear people talk about that, it's crazy because every single one of them always has a suit on. They have a suit. They have a tie and they're sitting behind a TV screen. They may be a radio personality. They may be talking about it on their podcast or whatnot. But the people who put on a helmet, that put on the shoulder pads, that put on a jersey, that put on the cleats, that are out there on the field, when they speak about Lamar Jackson, it seems to be the exact opposite. The exact opposite of what the suits have to say. So to me, that, that speaks volumes and that lets you know something right there. That game recognize game. The suits, they don't have as much of a respect for Lamar Jackson, maybe because it's because they're not out there on the field playing against him. They sit back and they watch and they analyze and they're like, oh no, that can be stopped. Oh no, they, they, that can be done away with. But the people who are out there on the field, they, they get a, a first-hand view, up close and personal, of Lamar Jackson and everything that he can do that the suits say that he can't. And this is going to continue. This is going to, it, through the entirety of Lamar Jackson's career, it's always going to be like this. We've been saying this since 2018, since he first came on the scene. It's always going to be like this. Now, um, something else to keep in mind that you hear a lot of people say, because it's around the same conversation. Oh, yeah, oh, Lamar's going to get figured out. Defense is going to figure him out. NFL going to figure him out. Defense coordinator is going to figure him out. You done heard it all before. Another thing that I know you've heard before, for sure. Man, if Lamar Jackson, if he couldn't run like that, then he wouldn't be special. You take away Lamar Jackson's legs, he won't be special. If he can't scramble, he can't run around. He won't be special. You hear that so many times. And obviously, Lamar Jackson, his game would be much different uh, if he didn't have the running ability that he has. But let me ask you something. You watching this right now. And, and I know a lot of y'all haven't said that, but some of y'all have. And, and it, may cross, it may have crossed your mind plenty of times, too. Man, what, what if Lamar Jackson couldn't run like that? How, how would his game be? What if somebody took away... The thing that made you different from everybody else. The thing that made you special. What if somebody took that away? Would that mean that you didn't have any other abilities? Or does what makes you special enhance all of your other abilities as well? Just something to think about. Because we hear, we hear that conversation so many times. And with Lamar Jackson, like we know, like we've seen from experience, so many people continue to talk about the what ifs. They always talk about the what ifs. What if Lamar Jackson got hurt? That's one of their favorite ones. But the one about, oh, what if he didn't run? What if he couldn't run? You take away his legs. Da, 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 da. But that's the thing. That's not what it is. That's what you wish it was. That's what you wanted to be. That's what you were hoping for. But that's not what it is. So uh, until people can actually acknowledge and, and respect the what is, I don't want to hear nothing about them what ifs. 
Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> and we out. Shout out to Graven.